fucking fun. Neither are great. <laughs> oh shit. You're recording. Welcome back to Skyward Sword. What? Why would you do that? I kill! God, okay. Okay, I gotta go back. I gotta go back. I used to control, so. And then. I don't think there's a jump in, is there? Mm, no, only contextually. Like if you're going by a cliff, then there's oh, a jump yeah. in. So, a, do you want to go straight to the mission, or we can go and find out some other islands that are here? Uh, I think we wanted to get through the rest of that dungeon. Oh yeah, we, we did, didn't we? Because we got your beetle. Not beetle. Well, we got him too. Uh, how do I get my bird? <laughs> Does your bird have a name? It, they just refer to it as a red crimson loftwing, because it's a really <laughs> rare one. Oh, what the fuck did I just do? Come here, red crimson loftwing. Was that a thing in the original game? I don't remember. I just jumped off my bird. Come on, come on. You gotta get it. You gotta get it. I am not. Oh, I missed it because the controls You missed it because the controls suck. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Again, I love the low quality image. <laughs> JPEG. It's yuck. Okay. Okay, yeah. Descend? Now, will that take us outside of it or inside of it? I'll be outside. But assuming you were right, we'll have already unlocked most of the. Yeah, so just, we, we, we just have to yeah. walk down there. Now, this looks like a door I can open. But it's not. Oh, you missed the ruby. Ruby? With a P? Yeah, it's a rupee. Isn't that the currency in India? Uh, that's the thinking of Russia. No, I'm pretty sure it's India, actually. I'm gonna look up. pretty sure? I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna look up rupee. Okay, either one of us is right or both of us are gay. Uh, it's called an Indian rupee. Probably not Russia. Well, look up the Russia currency, man. I, I swear to you, there's no reason I wouldn't. Isn't it like rubles? Oh, that's totally what it is. Russian currency. Ruble. Yeah, yeah. ruble. It's, it's okay. close. All right. So now this Ooh. room, I remember I never got to this far when I was younger. Then when I replayed it again on the Wii, I got past this point. So like, we're still, we're still, I still am knowledgeable about the area. I know the area. Same time, I'm really not. For reference, we just passed the point in Jack and Daxter where my knowledge lies. Um. Damn. So what's back here? It's always interesting playing uh, a game that you're really nostalgic about, kind of in the context of there being someone else, especially if it's a game that you maybe didn't beat. Jack and Daxter, I only got to that part. Yeah. But it's it's almost like if, if you played a game when you were younger and you play it again, even if it's nothing like the games you generally play, there's almost a sort of familiarity with it. Like, like, yeah. you, like you know it, like it's a friend. And even if you're exploring a part of the game you've never seen before, it feels very familiar and you can kind of, it elicits that nostalgia well, feeling. Because you've been so used to that style of the game. For example, this area, like you said, you never made it past that the door to the temple. When I was younger. When you were younger, yeah. right? But it, when you went past there, it didn't feel like you're suddenly playing a new game. It no. still felt that, like that familiar game, right? It more so like this is a new area. I've unlocked this area. Hey, yeah. bastard, fuck you. It did not hurt him. Fuck you, spider. Spiders in video games have always been scary to me. I think for me, though, the most scary ones I've gone up against is the one, the Skyrim ones. And yes. And in specifically, the Lego Lord of the Rings. Lego there, Lord of the Rings. There was a spider in there, and it did not look Lego, and I thought it was, a, it was like Satan. There are a lot of things in video games that scare you when you're younger that just don't make sense. Like characters or NPCs, that kind of thing. Some games, you know, are totally deserving of being terrifying. Especially yeah. Zelda games, I find. Well, yeah, especially like, uh, if you go in like... The N64 games. God! Fucking Majora's Mask, just thinking about like a story of that, that's fucked. It, yeah. A young child has to like, go and see this town get fucking demolished by a moon. Yeah, he, everyone, everyone's like, dies. insane as the moon gets near. And he just has to watch like, damn, that's crazy. That is a lot of fucking Deku Babas. I, I just remember uh, when I was younger, I would see clips from the game. Because it, it was, I, I sort of discovered it online around its creepypasta era. Oh yeah, like for Ben. And the like first that. clip I ever saw, I don't know where this was, but it was just, a, no, no commentary, just a short clip of the guy playing as Link, walking into town, and there's some guy... I don't know if it was a guard or what or who he was. I think he might have been a shopkeeper and he was just standing there freaking out. He was angry. He was he, he was but he was all alone. And I think you could hear like the bum 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 the bell is ringing. Oh yeah. This guy's freaking out. And I think he's he says something to Link like, "Oh, it's not real. It's mm. not real." And then That's the terrible. camera pans up to the sky with this massive moon hanging <laughs> over with this awful grimace. 
And that, I saw that clip of the game and I thought, oh, that's terrifying. Glad I've never played that. And then I, I didn't see that game until middle school. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't you, 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 it was real. Yeah. So oh. I, I just I, I had a vague memory of seeing a massive moon and I had to look it up and go, oh, I, was, I saw it, that online when I was younger. That yikes. That is fucked. It is. It is seriously messed oh, up. Oh, I guess I'm angry. Fuck. Oh, oh I'm good. Yo, okay. I'm, just, I'm just going through because I don't remember how I cleared this part. Probably by hitting Probably that. just by hitting everything, honestly. Oh, a lot of these. Nice. Rupees. Oh, then they do that. Go for your buddy. They do that in games. I've always kind of known about Zelda because it's one of the main Nintendo. It's one of like yeah. the biggest video game franchises out there. So if you know about one Nintendo franchise, then you know about Kirby, Mario, Zelda, Donkey Kong. Like you know of them. Yeah, least, even if you've never played you them. haven't played them or not. You know of them. I heard of Metroid. I I, I knew. <laughs> I just remember when I was younger, people they like. But did you know that Metroid is a girl? Wow! <laughs> and the main character is actually called Link, not Zelda. Zelda's the girl. Well, Did the thing you know is, that? I, I knew... Oh, I can get this fucker. I can get this, I can get this fucker. If you were a Zelda fan, you told everyone that the main character was named Link. <gasps> right? If you yeah. were if you were a Samus fan, you, you or a Metroid fan, you tell everyone that the main character was a girl. You'd have that one fun fact that you told all the other kids who weren't familiar with that yeah. specific franchise. And then, you, you know, you'd lie. You'd lie about the game as well, so no one knew what to believe. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Man, who didn't? I'm going to get back up here. I want to see what's inside here. Because I remember we fought some guy in here, but we immediately went out. I'm pretty sure I... I think a, a lot of the times when kids would lie about games, they would lie about things that they wished were true. So they'd be like, if you do this weird thing in the game, you unlock a massive secret world. And because it's because you wanted it to be true. Yeah. I remember the big one was with Mario games where there would be an invisible wall or somewhere where you couldn't keep going. And it wasn't just Mario, actually. It was a lot of games. But I always thought about how could you get past this? Yeah. Because I didn't think I didn't think of game designers just not letting you go past there because they didn't build anything. I we decided not to let anyone I, go I figured, past this part. I figured it was, it was a limitation of, of Mario. So I would, you know... Maybe Mario needed to practice his jumps in order to get higher or something. I don't know. Whatever. That makes sense. Right? Yeah. I remember for me, when I started realizing maybe some kids are lying about games, uh, when I heard about that, <laughs> the Mario thing, where, uh, in, like, the new Super Mario games, where he, uh, if you get more coins, his hat comes off, I'm pretty sure. Did you believe that was a lie, though? I believe that was a lie when it first came out, because I never had the game. Uh, it's not a lie. That's actually... His, his, his hat a, comes off. Yeah. His hat comes off. And I want to figure out how to... Get this fucker. What about like the- Oh, uh, I can hit yeah. the vine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Oh! That's totally what you're supposed to do. I never did that when I was younger. I don't know how I got that past that part, but I never did that. Did you know that in The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, you can use the beetle to hit the, the vine? That's got No, you're lying. You're lying. You're lying to me. You're a thief and a liar. You took my lunch money. And then like that, I can just walk over this. You can just walk over this. Okay, so tight. when we were young, video games were very popular still, right? Like, they, yeah. like, but I remember when I was younger, not believing that video games are popular at all. Really? Yeah, I, I don't know if maybe it's because I had no one to talk to about them, but I believed that they were a super niche thing that kind of only got popular as I got older because I never heard it anywhere. I never heard people talking about video games, about video games other than a few kids who were my age. I never heard kids older talking about it. I never heard adults talking about it. When I heard the Mario theme one time at daycare, I freaked out because that is that it was the most mainstream I'd ever heard of a video game being. <laughs> it was it was actually insane. Oh yeah. Piece of heart. Yeah, piece of heart. Yeah. A so sliver. I kind of expected this to be something up there, but I thought it would help me open up this door. Maybe I gotta double check up here. I feel like if it was anywhere to be up here. There's I've, certainly I've, a lot in this area. Yeah, there's a lot that kind of puts you through and doesn't not tell you where to go. Curve so up. this goes to the left here, and I think I've been through this part already. It's nice that it gives you like a little beacon where Link was. In like, case what, you what need what to like, myself? hit him. Oh! Good game design? What Good game look? design? He picks it up like boomerang? <laughs> this is going to be a tight corner. This is. Oh, but I'm good. I'm God you're Gamer. You're too good. I'm God Gamer. You're a God Gamer. No, not a god gamer. I'm god gamer. You're the god gamer. No, 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 no. You, you, not keep even add, you keep adding words. Not even the. You're god gamer? I'm just god gamer. Fuck. Where could this thing be? I, that's a spider web. I've gotten all the webs I can. There's a, I saw one web hanging there. Did you already? Yeah, that thing, that's, that's just a spider. Kill it? Yeah, I can kill it. Dude, if it's in the fucking spider, I'll be so mad. 
Oh fuck. No, use the guy. Use the beetle. No, because when he's, he's on the ground, he's hard to kill. No, he's just there it is. He just has a blue ruby. Is there a way to fly back in there? Yeah, so I, I just opened that door, but I already checked in there and there's nothing in there. I can check what, there's a crack up there that I never really inspected, but I'm pretty sure it just has a heart in it. Dude. Does that have anything to do with these birds that are all around? Not that one, but um... Oh, I just realized. What? You, what, you, in the last episode, you left to use the bird to mm -hmm. get out. You could have just gone to that one. <sighs> I think for this decoration. Those guys are playing. Well, this one's fallen. Is there anything hiding around here? So you went through every single window that's above there. I don't know, but at the same time, I don't want to have to go through them again. I'll just try though. So let's let's keep in our keep it in our mind that we start with the one by the fallen pillar. Yeah, we can go count clock, 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 clockwise. Clockwise, yeah. <laughs> Nothing. All those sparkling things in there are making me think of like hidden treasure. I think it's more so dust. And that one, that, those two are connected. So we don't. Is it a beetle or is it like a scarab? I. It says it's a. Let me see. He has a beetle. Okay. Oh, okay. that one's higher than everyone else. The main thing, oh. the main thing I saw for what? Okay. What? It's just, it's just a hole in the wall. Is there like a another one nearby? Is that one higher up than the others? Uh. Yeah. Let's try that one then. So now I'm thinking of uh, one of the the water painting rooms in Mario 64 where they had symmetrical, but then one had a secret. This hey, one's why? also just a fucking... But why, though? So I remember they had items in them. They had items. I've, I've... Oh, we probably, yeah, looted it. God. Do you have to get all the rubies on the top of the birds? That'd be dumb, but may as well try it. In the meantime, uh, how about you use your intuition and... Uh... Do I'm going to actually use my intuition? Yeah, because I... Try and... No, I want you to use your intuition. Unless, can I try playing? Seeing if... Yeah, sure. Somehow my, uh... my lack of knowledge gives me a unique perspective. Yeah. So what's the run button? A uh, B. Ouch. And I, I couldn't wait. Ooh, I have an idea. Look, go back to the left there. Yeah. I tried getting the beetle through there, but it doesn't fit. But look around it and see if you can hit anything. You only have three shots. Make it count. Okay. I made it count. Talk to Fee. Maybe she can help. Yes, Master. What do you see? Hint? Yeah. When you find yourself unable to continue, press to look around. Use the beetle you obtain to explore and investigate your findings from high in the air. So the beetle is important. Is there anything above that, though? No, it won't let me up that high. Let me up that high. Wait, what if I just send it above there and then just look around? For some reason, I'm used to, like, you know, with an airplane, you'd pull back to go up. Yeah. This is so it jack and daxes you. It does jack and dax you. And it's also really sensitive on the up and down, but not the left and right. Go back to the left there. And where I kill those Deku Babas, within there, that key there. Right here. I didn't expect it at the bottom of the ground. I'm thinking maybe one of those enemies have. Because there's going to be a quad Baba. Oh, it's rolled you. Try hit, uh, try hitting parry if your shield. Well, how do you parry? Um, not like that. Not like that. He thought that was funny though, probably. <laughs> I think you have to like let him attack you or like either parry it. Oh, size nice, now. Yeah. Like that? Yeah. In the meantime, would you care if I do a little intuition check? If you want to, yes. I won't if unless you find anything. In the meantime, I won't say anything. Um, sky view, temple walkthrough. I mean, brain! Yeah, you looked it up in your, your vast knowledge bank. There's a lot of doors. There's a lot of doors that are locked and you don't know how to open. Just gonna check back in here again. Oh wait, check the map. The map, what button's that? Uh, I don't know. So there's a chest in there, locked door. We already got those ones, there's, right? Those, those are open. So you see how like the chest is like grayish? That means you opened it. Why isn't this locked? It is locked though, it's chains. Oh, that means there's a thing to activate it. That's this one here, right? Yeah, it's that one, but the thing is, you don't know how to activate it. You figure that out. Well, I uh, think about it. Well, you think about it be hard while enough. holding your phone and browsing unrelated searches. Oh, I'm just a little tired right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, what? I don't remember this guy in here. Oh, found it. Oh, really? <laughs> God damn it. All right. Da 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 da. Here you go. It was past the Deku Baba in there. I, oh, I, oh I, that's why I didn't get that. I didn't get past the fuck. I didn't know I can kill him like that. No, I just went around it. Okay. Can you send a guy up there? I think it's the same path area. Try it. Oh. oh. Well, let me go through. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna try and get that actually. I saw, thought I saw chains. You might have to lift those. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. Reminds me of Fluzzard from Mario Galaxy. Why? Bad, Damn! Bad controls. It fucking wombo combos you. Hey, Falco. Hey, Falco. Okay, I have to cut those trees. You want to get the gold thing up there? Amber? 
Amber. I remember people being quite mad that Breath of the Wild didn't have dungeons and had shrines instead. I'm a little confused. Like, what's wrong with shrines compared to... Well, I think... this is a dungeon, right? I think... Yeah, this is a dungeon. But I think their intention was that the Divine Beasts were kind of the dungeons. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm gonna go through here so I'll figure out what it is. Oh. I think maybe... Part of it is that there's all this kind of a classic medieval um, fantasy oh, thing. Fuck. So people specifically like an actual dungeon where it's, you know, underground, cages, bars, branch pathways, spiders. So they wanted that classic dungeon look. Oh. What the fuck? Fucking die! That's intense. That's intense. You fucking jump in the air and stab the fucker. <laughs> I've never really been afraid of specifically spiders in video games. But I have been really anxious around uh, difficult situations with creepy enemies. I'll give you an example. In, in Mario 64 DS, uh, and also in the original, I think, there's this area in Hazy Maze Cave where you go through tunnels filled with toxic gas. Yeah. And around there are flying shy guys with gas masks on shooting at you. And it was absolutely terrifying because not only do you have to like quickly navigate and get through before Mario starts suffocating, but you have these masked guys going after you. So even though I wasn't directly afraid of them, because I associated them with the intense running around trying to find a spot to breathe every time I saw them. Yeah. Just was, this fucking PTSD. Ugh. Yeah, it was, it was gross. Get it off. I don't want it on here. I hate this thing. Oh, I know how to do. I know how to do. This makes more sense. I was like, I was really confused. Like, there's a certain spot. I can get a certain spot where both eyes look at me, but the top eye won't look at me. So I'm assuming that's if I'm just higher up. I'm not a big fan of how this drains your dirt, your state, since your your uh, calm. I didn't even realize there was a top eye. Oh no, I'm dizzy. Oh fuck, my eyes hurt. All right, what's this gonna be? What do you think? It's going to be an item. Wow. This is Zelda's hot head. Oh, small key. Cool. I know where I know where to go now. Over the tight walk? Yep. I'm d well, okay, so I think what you're gonna have to do is that small tunnel we found, you're gonna have to send the beetle back through to unlock a way for you to get out of here. I think what's gonna be. Yeah, you're gonna have to send him through there and hit something. I think it's just more so I climb through it. Oh, that makes more sense since it wouldn't let you fly through. Yeah, so now we can get across here. We can. I actually do like the theme, I'll be honest. Oh, like the mis like, kind of like mysterious. Like, ah, bah, bah, bah. What was this game made? This was like 2011, right? Probably, yeah. Okay. Because I'm. It reminds me of games kind of from that... Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, that's my buddy from work. I don't remember this. Oh, I see. It's like a slug hydro. No, thing. it's like a, you have to hit at a certain angle. Oh, okay. When the eyes go red, that means he's about to attack you. I can't back up from that fast. Can you not? Uh, I can probably shoot, shield pair, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's definitely a sort of sound that games kind of 2000s to early 2010s had with some of those mysterious dungeon-esque sounds. Because it also reminds me a little bit of kind of like Indiana Jones, if I'm completely honest. Yeah. When you're exploring around and they have some of that kind of music. So those adventure games where you go underground somewhere, they have that theme. It's, it's very consistent. That goes terrifying. And I think, if I remember correctly, this is a new part. A new part? I still have gotten past this part. You have? Okay. I remember I saw a video about this guy who was so angry at uh, how cliche winter themes are in video games. Where they all have, like, the... The jingling bells and the yeah and the and the different sounds. Oh, watch this shit! Watch this shit! <laughs> Get troll, motherfucker! Hey, bro! Bye bye! <laughs> it's just a cliff. He fucking he's gone. So if I want to leave, I can hit that. There's a rope up there. Oh, there's another one hit. There's another crystal hidden behind the uh, branch. Your mother! How dare you? Is one a piece head? Yep. Oh, it's a heart. It's a heart. Well, I need it anyway, so. There we go, buddy. Woo! And then you should hit the second one so you can go for the... I want to see. I have an idea. Are you going to lure him across? Yeah, I'm going to lure him, him across. I'm going to hit him with a fucking beetle. Yeah. I think you got to step on it first to encourage him over. That first. reminds me of when you threw bread at me. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, you know, sometimes you don't have to do that. Sometimes they just kill themselves on their own. That reminds you of when I threw bread at you? Yeah. For context, everyone, I threw a loaf of bread at him. Two loaves of bread at me? One was one was just like the butt pieces, though. 
he asked if I wanted toast, and I said yeah, and I turned around because he threw a pair. Of, he threw it, and I, he hit me. I'm like, what was that for? And I was going to go pick up the smaller piece. He threw the whole loaf at me. I threw the whole loaf at him. Yeah, it kind of hurt my feelings. Now, is this a tightrope, or is this a... That's a tight... Oh, no, it's, no, it's no longer a tightrope. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's cool. That's cool. I don't want to mess this up. Video game dungeons and going down. Oh! <laughs> yeah, bro. Is that the chest over there? Yeah, it's just down here. Am I not looking at a door to go to the chest? Uh, I think there's, there's chains in front of it. Hmm. I don't remember correctly. Wouldn't it be really funny if all that's in the chest is a key to open that door right there? That'd be really funny, actually. That'd be so funny. Oh, God, that's gross. But it looks like a chest we've never seen before, so I doubt it. I like the glowing mushrooms. I like the swing animation. I don't. <laughs> really? Like, going like that? You know? It just looks a little stiff to me. I, I honestly look fluid to me. What did you pick up? I pick up a uh, little weird artifact that had the same shape as the door at the main entrance. I wonder where it goes. Where am I? We're, we're getting really close to the part where I never finished. Mm -hmm. I, never got, I never got past, so... Imagine you get to that point and you're like, yeah, uh, this is where I finished. Oh, wait, maybe. and then and then And then you recognize something and you're like, oh, wait, no, I actually beat the entire game. Okay, just turn it. There you go. What? 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 <laughs> yeah, good enough. Yeah, it's close. It fits, right? Don't they have light puzzles in uh, Resident Evil 7? Where you have to rotate it and then create... Yeah, that's silhouette. a big thing in Resident Evil 7. Some silhouettes that apparently that's how it works. Alright, here we go. Here we go. What the fuck? Ow! Crazy. Here's what everyone. This is the guy whose legs we saw earlier. I saw a fan cam for this guy. Oh, he's kind of hot. Look who it is. Who is it? Who? 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 Oh, yuck. I thought that tornado I stood up would have tossed and torn you apart, yet here you are. You ever seen one of those people? Pieces. You seen one of those people who can like pull on their lower eyelids oh, and yeah. like roll them? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, can you throw your beetle as earrings? See oh. if it unlocks something? <laughs> it's just the girl that matters now. I can sense her. Let's be on this door. Yes, we plucked her, her plucked her majesty from our perch in the clouds. Now she's ours. I'm being positively uncivil. Let me introduce myself. I'm the demon lord who presides over this land, and I come on name Graham. Giraham. <laughs> I call myself Graham. In truth, I made much better than my full title, Lord Giraham, but I'm not fussy. <laughs> now he's gonna have a temper tantrum if you call what him anything the? else. I hate you. Arr, I'm gonna pull my sword and shield. Did you really just draw your sword? What the fuck, foolish dude? Foolish boy. Did you really just draw your shield? What also the... foolish boy. <laughs> so when you first played, you hardly saw... You Like, you didn't see this guy at all other than... No, no, no. I, I I got past this part. No, like when he first played. Oh, yeah, like, no. I never saw this guy. And this guy fucking terrified me. Furious. Outraged. Sick with anger. This feels very anime. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a strong effort for bloodshed. And emo. He's got the emo haircut. Still, oh. it hardly seems fair. Being my resident, take all my anger on you. Which is why I promise not to uh, front, front not to murder you. Don't let the world get you down. I'll just beat you with an inch of your life. <laughs> and he takes off his uh, little cloth there, and he looks like a twink. Oh, fuck. Yeah, he definitely looks like a JoJo character with those pants. Yeah. <laughs> I'm completely right. Though he does lose it in the top half. His top half is not nearly... Buffing. Uh, go on. Oh, my sword! Haha, <laughs> quite the sword you have here. But long as you telegraph your attacks like the novice you are, you'll never land a blow. This is very- this is just awkward. <laughs> Watching this is just awkward. Also, uh, the arrow above him is really low quality. I don't know if you can see that. Fuck, fuck, he's gonna take my sword, he's gonna take my sword, he's gonna take my sword. No, no he's not. not to. Fuck! I gotta stop telegraphing my attacks. That's what he said. Tell, try telephoning them instead. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I have to like care where his hand is. I have to figure out where his hand is. I'm guessing you don't actually win against them. He's just like, huh, nice job. This is leave. fucking stupid. I don't know how to beat him. Bastard, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Can you like throw a rock at him? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck are you doing, kid? I was hitting him though, I was hitting him before. Yeah, I'm a little confused right now. So am I. Let me guess. What the fuck? <laughs> you see Link's face? Look at his face, look at his face. <laughs> okay, I know what I'm doing. 
What did you do? So I'm, I'm leading him towards that way and then hitting him the other way. So like, nope, they did not work. So you lead him to the right and then you go and swing. Well, I think it's the just right. the opposite. I go, if I go like this, right? Oh! Ah! Oh, you know the uh, the question of what happens when an unstoppable force meets an unmovable object? Yeah. The answer is no clip. That's so stupid. <laughs> hey, bud, it's over here. It's over here. You want this one? Get fucked. Want this one? Get fucked. Want this one? Okay. Second face. Ew. I know it's a, a stupid thing. After oh! Okay, so he does this, and I have to hit. Then I'll back at him. Mm hmm. And then. Ugh! Fuck you! It'd be nice if he had a health bar so you can see what's going on, you know? Yeah. Have you ever done that in a boss fight where you you fought for a long time and then after after like 10 minutes had passed, you're, you're thinking, oh, this has been a little bit long. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Yeah! <laughs> That's happening right now! Heal him. Whoa, I saw it. I, I missed it. There we go. Oh, there we go, yeah. And then he's like, well. You put it with your fight, you know, that boss was a soft boy. You ever have that moment when you had a, have a really hard boss fight and you finally get through it, and as soon as the cutscene plays, you immediately go weak and start shaking? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Sky Child. Run and play this time. Get on my way, though, and you're dead. Presence has faded? Which means she ran away. Wow. Well, she probably heard the sword fighting, like, oh, oh no. no. So after this boss fight, this is after, like, the one thing you get after this is that's where I stop playing. Ooh. You can actually find this place in Breath of the Wild. Let's see it. Uh, yes, yes, I do know this. This does look familiar. This is behind the waterfall. It's, it's, one, of, it's one of the springs. Yeah, you find uh, Zelda bathing in there. And you kill her, yeah. By the God of Sindala, me! Come! So, uh, Beyblade. Yeah, that would be a cool baby. Yeah, actually. and actually, like, if they got that, if they modified it a little bit, that would be actually Obviously awesome. Obviously, physically impossible because it's floating, but... But if they, if they, you know, connected it a little bit, yeah. made it a little more uh, balanceable, that would be pretty darn it'd cool. It would be cool top. looking. I don't think it would be practical, though. Can we get rid of her? Okay, she's dancing now. Good for her. No, it's, 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 it's actually have to like this because it's the... Uh, huh? This is the language of the gods. Mm. Carry the cosmic mission. Me when I'm in Mario Galaxy in the highest level. With the, the falls? Or that you just you yeah, know, freeze it all over and yeah, then start skating? Yeah, I think skating. it's Mario Galaxy too. Right. The second spring is hidden away deep within a scorched earth of Elden. Elden Ring. The spirit main of oh, the heavy task of Chester has her second scary place. You ever notice those words that are kind of generic in the fantasy genre? Like Elden. Um, Sacred. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah that we, too. we get our uh, next piece of the puzzle. But they'll be like, you need to find the lost land of, you know, Arcadia or something. There's like oh. 50. Oh, I got 50. the ruby tablet. Yeah, the ruby tablet. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, uh, she was waiting for you to look. So what the could, fuck? She was waiting for you to look so she could do a cool flip. Spring, I calculated a nice much chance you already set out for Elden. But another great spring exists. 97% chance? What? There's like a 3% chance she'd kill herself. All, All right. right. Should, should we take in the Skyloft then? Yeah, we should. How do I get there? Prop. Watch. Cutscene will take you there. Uh, it's one of the Kikwi's final boss of the game. Yeah. <laughs> like Dark Souls. So I want to hug. Take care, okay? Me, named Zelda fan, will look for Zelda. How are... I think there's a good reason those things haven't made it to the new games. They they all died off. Yeah, they, they, Evolution wow. will not treat them kindly. Whoa. Oh, okay, so, um, oh, wait, no, I'm done. <laughs> Sick. No, okay, sorry, I was thinking back to when you said that I, in the temple that I could have just uh, went to that one instead of going outside to the bird. Yeah. I thought you were talking about going to the sky, but I realized like, I could have just saved. Yeah. <laughs> It was over here, so I want to understand. I'm only now realizing how low quality the model of the world is. Yeah. <laughs> it looks awful. So if, is anyone else going to mention the fact that there's a big hole open, open in no. here? No. No, they won't. They're like, oh, that makes sense. You're the, you're a knight, right? So mm -hmm. that makes sense. So has word gotten out that you're the chosen one yet? You Probably think? not. No? Mm, look at that. They don't, they just don't care? I don't think they do. So is this one of, I'm guessing, four? It would look like it. Or do they just get smaller and smaller? I don't know. <laughs> Like I said, this, this, this is as far as I've ever gone. This right here, like you put in, putting. I in put the in a tablet. I'm like, I'll play tomorrow. Oh. And then guess what? I didn't do. Last online four years ago. 
crazy. All right. That's great. Well, All right. Beat do Skyview. Want, do you want to end it here? Sure. All right. So we have finally approached the part where Grabuba stopped playing Skyward Sword forever. Yep. I. Uh... Therefore, this is the last episode. No. Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, it just means the series takes 90 years longer. Yeah, because suddenly we no longer know what to do. Yeah. Crazy. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I didn't... I accidentally did this. Oops. Uh, sorry for your child. Save and quit. Save and quit. All right. Ciao for now. Ciao for now. Ciao for now.